will study problem of first order system with the unit step input and uh, before going to that we studied in the previous uh, videos we studied response of a first order system with a unit step input so now we solve problem so the first problem is obtain the response of unit feedback system where the open loop transfer function is g of s is equal to 4 divided by s into s plus 5 and when the unit unit input unit step input so it is given obtain the response of unit feedback system so we will consider uh, closed loop system with unit feedback and forward path gain is g of s so the g of s value is given that is 4 divided by s into s plus 5 so refer the closed loop system as shown in figure the closed loop transfer function is given by we know that that is g of s divided by r of s is equal to g of s divided by see it is uh, negative feedback it should be minus okay just refer this is a negative feedback so it is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h is h is equal to 1 it is unit feedback so g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into 1 so then the r of s is equal to r of s is equal to 1 or input is unit step input so r of t is equal to 1 the if you find out its uh, Laplace transform then r of s is equal to 1 divided by s just substitute the given values that is g of s and r of s in this uh, equation c of s is e divided by r of s is 1 divided by s is equal to g of s is given that is 4 divided by s into s plus 5 4 divided by 1 plus again g of s so that is 4 divided by s into s plus 5 into 1 h is equal to 1 so then just to simplify this equation so you will get you will get and cross multiply you will get 4 divided by s into 5 into s divided by s plus 5 divided by s into s plus 5 plus 4 you have to uh, take lcm and simplify you will get finally c of s divided by 1 by s equal to 4 divided by s into s plus 5 plus 4 and just cross multiply you just take this 1 by s to the right hand side then c of s is equal to 4 divided by s into s plus 5 plus 4 into 1 divided by s so now simplify multiply this 4 divided by just multiply this s into s plus 5 so you will get s square plus 5s plus 4 into 1 by s so finally c of s is equal to 4 divided by s into you just take uh, find out the root of this one that is s square plus 4s plus 4 just find out the root that is s plus 4 and s plus 1 you will get substitute here c of s is equal to 4 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 so finally i can write how to simplify this so it is uh, you have to use partial fraction to find uh, simplify this so that is 4 divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 4 equal to the three uh, parameters are there so i will write a divided by s plus b divided by s plus 1 plus c divided by s plus 4 this partial fraction is studied in mathematics so then find out the value of um, a b c so uh, Take LCM here, you will get 4 equal to A into S plus 1 into S plus 4 plus B into S into S plus 4 plus C into S into S plus 1. So now to find out A, you have to substitute uh, S is equal to minus 1. So if you put S is equal to minus 1, you will get B. Okay. If, if you put s is equal to minus 1 here, s is equal to minus 1, so this will be 0, the content coefficient of a, everything will be 0, and here also coefficient of c will be 0, so you get b. So 
So it is 4 is equal to minus 3b you will get. Finally, b is equal to minus 4 divided by 3 you will get. Then if you substitute in that equation s is equal to minus 4, then 4 is equal to 12c you will get. c is equal to 4 by 12. That means 1 by 3 you will get. So then if you substitute s is equal to 0, we can find out a. You will get a is equal to 1. So let us uh, just simplify that. We have to find out a, b, c and accordingly you have to uh, substitute the value of s. So you will get, you want a, b, c. So then substitute in the equation. So you will get c of s is equal to 1 by s minus 4 divided by 3 because so a is 1. So 1 by s minus b is 4 by 3. So 4 by 3 divided by s plus 1 that is minus 4. So 4 by 3 divided by s plus 1 plus c is 1 by 3 so that is 1 by 3 divided by s plus 4 then simplify 1 by s minus 4 by uh, i can write minus of 4 by 3 s plus 1 1 by 3 s plus 4 so then it is c of s in s domain so now you have to find out the c of t so for that in time domain you have to find out the response for that you have to take inverse laplace transform so that is c of t is equal to laplace inverse of c of s that is Laplace inverse of this equation. So that is C of t is equal to Laplace inverse of 1 by s. We know that that is 1 minus this is C. It is 4 by 3 is a constant. So I can write 1 by s plus 1. So it is a standard form that is 1 divided by s plus e. The standard notation of this 1 by s plus e is e to the power minus e into t. So I can write minus 4 by 3 into e to the power minus a t. So a is 1, so it is minus t plus 1 by 3 into e to the power minus 4 into t. Why? Because it is uh, here a is my plus 4. So it is 1 divided by s s plus a. So it is uh, standard notation is e to the power minus a t. So it is minus a is 4, 4 into t. So it is the response. So this type of problem you will get. So they will give uh, G of S and they will say it is a unit feedback system and uh, and they will give a unit step of input. So you have to find out the values. So there are different type of partial fractions. So this is a simple partial fraction. So other partial fractions is uh, the types of partial fraction is functions with separate poles, functions with multiple poles, and functions with complex conjugate poles. So you'll see one by one when the transfer function has separate poles, that is g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus p1 into s plus p2. So that is just now we solved the problem, no? same type of partial fraction, first method. So second method is when this transfer function has multiple poles. So that is g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus p1 into s plus p2 whole square. Then how to write the how to simplify this one? So that is t of s is equal. We have to write a divided by s plus b divided by s plus p1 plus c divided by s plus p2 whole square plus b divided by s plus p2. So you have to separate this one. Square once you have to take and separately we have to write s plus p2. So when the transfer function has complex conjugate like t of s is equal to k divided by s plus p1 into s square plus b s plus c is complex conjugate. Then how to simplify it is t of s is equal to a divided by s plus p1 for the first function plus for the second function we have to write b s plus c divided by s square plus b s plus c. So if we separate like this then we, it will be easy. So in this way we can apply partial fraction to simplify our problems. So in the next model we will uh, we will see second order systems. Thank you.